do not sell alcoholic beverages to uniformed personnel. That's a caution to beverage sellers and bartenders by the Drunkards Association, now known as Beverage Consumers and Bar Owners Association of Ghana. This directive follows the circulation of a viral video on social media in which a man in police uniform wielding a gun is seen drunk while he talked in his sleep or sleep talked if you like even though the police says it is analyzing the video to identify the man in uniform the drunkards association has condemned the action of the said police officer adding it has taken steps to haul the man whom they describe as their default member before the disciplinary committee for sanctions to apply david onya uh, also known as dry bone is president of the association it's all about um, the misconduct of a member who happens to be a security personnel who got himself drunk and then um, in uniform and he was uh, with weapon and in a commercial vehicle, hence endangering the lives uh, of the passengers and the general public. And then we find it as a shameful act and an unprofessional way of um, conduct in the public eye. We are condemning such an act and then uh, we are also calling on the Inspector General of Police to take the necessary steps and then uh, to ensure that such incidents does not, does not occur. I mean this is not the first time we are, we are, we are seeing or hearing this because um, even in hospitals you've, you see nurses who got themselves drunk, drunk and then go to work to administer the wrong uh, medicines to patients and thereby um, killing them. Though we have um, equally reports from members who complain that some police officers do take in alcohol when they are going on duty, especially at night, those who mount the barriers at the various uh, vantage points on our roads for check checkpoint. Now, you talk about this member who was in a police uniform. How, how did he become your member? Yes, like we say, by default, everybody is a member. Once you drink, you are a member. You, have you taken steps to try and identify this, this man? Yes. Uh, so far, as I'm talking to you now, our members are sending in pictures and then some few informations concerning the, the officer in question. Um, so very soon, we'll take both steps in, in uh, inviting him to our office to at least for now, we, are, we, have, we will put the necessary sanction on him and a ban on him not to drink. And then we will also publish, pub, um, publish uh, his images to the bar owners and bartenders not to serve him with alcohol whenever he enters into a drinking spot to drink in order not to, in order not to um, endanger the, his life personally and then not, to, not for this shameful act to occur in the public eye. You're issuing a warning to the beverage sellers and the bar you know, owners not to sell to uniform security operatives. How, yes. Why is that? I mean, anybody has the, the right or the freedom to buy whatever they want to buy? Yes, uh, it is um, everybody's fundamental basic human rights. So far as you attain the age of 18 years and above and you have your money to drink, it is your right to drink, you see? However, if you are the uniform, the reason why we are saying that uniform bar owners and bartenders should not, I mean, should not sell beverage or alcoholic beverages, especially alcoholic beverages to uniform personnel, security personnel, is that we realize that, in fact, the report we are hearing concerning uniform men who drink is very alarming. The association will, 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 will ensure that our task force will start going around with the alcohol testing machines on uh, uniformed men who are on duties to check their um, drinking level so that if you are drunk and you, we, we, you, are, you are caught at post, then it means that we have to report to the IGP for you to be changed. Okay. So what happens to beverage um, sellers or these bartenders who fail to um, adhere to this directive of not selling to uniform people. How are you going to monitor this and what happens to them if they flout it? Basically, you lose your customers because your customers are our members. And like I rightly said, once you drink, you are a member. So when we issue warning that if you go to this bar, this is what will happen to you. But you will not go there because when you go there, you get yourself drunk 
then it means that uh, you intentionally went to the wrong place to go and abuse the alcohol. I'm also encouraging my members that when you catch any, or if you see any officer, any security personnel in uniform, being it immigration, being it Ghana police service, being it um, custom, or uh, any um, security personnel in uniform drinking alcohol in a drinking spot, then take, make sure that you take pictures of that policeman with the alcoholic beverage and then uh, send them to our website or our Facebook. About um, psychological assistance for this particular policeman, why, why does he require psychological assistance? Yes, um, you know, when you drink and you get drunk, alcohol is spirit. Assuming if, if, if he had not taken in any form of alcoholic beverages, he wouldn't, he wouldn't have behaved in the manner in which he did yesterday. Once he took in some drink, it means he, ha he has to voice out all his emotional problems. And that was what he was saying in the video, that uh, he, he has no money to take care of the family and a whole lot of problems. And there are other problems that uh, are of the basis at which he, he went into drinking. So if the, Ghana, if the Ghana Medical Association is listening to me right now, they should please help him with a psychologist, because with his video now viral, he will not be in a, in a sound mind, as I'm speaking to you now, to even work. So he needs a psychological advice, a psychologist to, to psych him, and at least a, a, a counselor to counsel him, to counsel him on how to go about his emotional problems. I'll say the final bit does make, uh, make a lot of sense to me. He does need a psychological, uh, you know, some sort of psychological help. If you could, all you have to do is drink and vent your problems. You definitely need psychological help. But